What's up guys, Lou here, and today we're gonna talk about the difference between the white iPhone 5 and the black iPhone 5. Besides the fact that you can see the ambient light sensor on the white one, and of course the obvious color differences. Now right now, things are blowing up on the internet about the black model in particular, and the fact that it scratches or scuffs pretty easily. Now, I don't know if this is overblown. I don't want to make any statements that are untrue, but there's a number of sites reporting that the black one is getting scuffed up, scratched up, so on and so forth. And I'll show you some of the images I was able to collect from those sites right now. In extreme cases, individuals have even reported pulling their device right out of the box and having it scuffed straight from the factory, which I find pretty hard to believe. Now, they're made out of the same material, which is anodized aluminum, so in theory, the same thing could happen to the white one, but I think the idea is that the white one won't show it as much as the black one does because the raw material below the anodized finish is closer in color to the white model than it is to the black one, so that's something to consider if you are really, really concerned with durability. The same thing is true for the outer band around the outside of the iPhone. Once again, you've got a more unfinished coloring to the white model than to the black. The next thing to talk about is multimedia consumption. Um, some have suggested that using the black model is a more immersive video experience, especially when you've got letterboxing around an image. The black model just sort of absorbs the black letterbox, whereas the white one highlights it, which could be an annoyance to some individuals. Now, from an aesthetic point of view, of course, this is a subjective thing. You know, some people are going to like the black one, some will like the white. Believe it or not, I like them both. Uh, you know, I change my mind from day to day. But I think the biggest decision maker for people is going to be this durability issue. And I think at this point, we can safely say the white one will probably look better longer, at least if the current situation is not rectified. Now, I'm going to give you some case options because you might want to just put a case on this device. But first, you got to sit through a quick message from the sponsor. You guys have got to check out Unbox Therapy's newest sponsor. They're called Jack Threads, and they've got the latest and greatest greatest in menswear from brands like Nixon. They've got Reebok and New Era and everything is well below retail price. In fact, in some cases, it's as much as 80% off retail. So you're going to save some serious cash if you join up. It's really, really simple to do. All you have to do is head over to jackthreads.com slash therapy. That acts as your invite and it also helps out the show for every person that checks it out. Even though it's free to do, it's a really, really simple way to help the show. Now, they've even added some iPhone iPhone 5 stuff that I think you guys are going to be really interested in. Uh, they got some skins for the back of your iPhone 5 to protect it a little bit, but to keep that sleek design. So you guys have to head over there and check it all out. Once again, it's jackthreads.com slash therapy. Do the show a favor. Go take a peek. All right, guys. Thanks. So as you guys can see here, I pretty much picked up all the cases I could find locally. I've got more on order as well. So we're going to be taking a look at a number of different protection options in the next few days uh, on the channel right here. These are some of the ones I'm most excited about. The Griffin, I believe it's called Reveal. There's a couple of other options here, including one for the youngsters on the far left. But once again, the Reveal is probably the most exciting for me. Reason being is because it maintains the design aesthetic of the iPhone 5 in and of itself. It just sort of you know, gives you a bumper as well as a clear panel on the back. So hopefully it can give you enough protection to avoid some of the scratching and some of the things people are concerned about right now. Actually, I'll put a link to the Griffin reveal down in the description as well if you want to check out pricing and availability. Anyway, guys, that's been a quick comparison. Let me know in the comments how concerned with you are you about scratching and will you put a case on this device if you buy it or if you've already got one. Other than that, thanks as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and favorite. It does help out a bunch, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks. Later.